welcome to all my dear friends here i am with another video of a grammar portion the topic is kinds of sentences before we go to learn details about different kinds of sentences let us learn what a sentence is a sentence is a group of words arranged in such a way that it makes a complete sense for a sentence we need a few words the words are such a way arranged that all together the words bring out a complete sense then this group of words is known as a sentence now let us learn some basic important information about a sentence a sentence has two parts a subject and a predicate a sentence begins with a capital letter every sentence begins with a capital letter but a sentence ends with a full stop a question mark or an exclamation mark according to the kind of sentences here comes the question of learning different kinds of sentences basically there are four kinds of sentences we have assertive sentences interrogative sentences exclamatory sentences and imperative sentences in some of the books you will find there is one more kind of sentences that is optative sentences what is an optative sentence i shall explain in later let us learn one by one these four kinds of sentences first we have assertive sentences look at the definition of an assertive sentence an assertive sentence tells a fact a habitual action a universal truth or an opinion it ends with a full stop all the assertive sentences end with a full stop let us understand better with examples the first sentence is trees give us oxygen it's a fact the second sentence is i brush my teeth every day it's a habitual action an action done regularly usually is a habit the third sentence is the sun rises in the east it's a universal truth now the question is what is a universal truth a universal truth is a fact which is always and everywhere the same for example a fact of sun rising in the east yesterday the sun rose in the east today the sun rose in the east tomorrow also the sun will rise in the east every time the fact is the same here in india the sun rises in the east there in america in africa everywhere in the world the sun rises in the east so everywhere the fact is the same a fact which is always and everywhere the same is a universal truth and a universal truth is expressed in an assertive sentence look at the fourth sentence chicken is tastier than fish it's an opinion it's my opinion you may have a different opinion so my dear students a fact a habitual action a universal truth or an opinion is expressed in an assertive sentence let us proceed with the next kind of sentence here we have interrogative sentences look at the definition an interrogative sentence asks a question it ends with a question mark all the interrogative sentences end with a question mark let us learn through the examples the first sentence is are you fond of singing it's a question and the sentence is ending with a question mark the second sentence is 
Do you like painting too? The third sentence is, is Tom your friend? And the fourth sentence is, what is the name of your school? The four sentences are asking four questions. They are interrogative sentences and they end with a question mark. Let us proceed. Here we have exclamatory sentences. An exclamatory sentence expresses a sudden and strong feeling of joy, happiness, sadness or surprise. It ends with an exclamation mark. Look at the examples. How bright the day is and what a beautiful rose it is. These two sentences express strong feeling of joy and surprise. So these two sentences are exclamatory sentences. Next, we have imperative sentences. Look at the definition. An imperative sentence expresses an instruction, advice, command, request, or an offer. It ends with a full stop. All the imperative sentences end with a full stop. Rarely there are imperative sentences which end with exclamation mark. This is an exception. Now to understand imperative sentences, let us look at the examples in sentences. The first sentence is you should go to the market. It is an advice given to you. The next is, finish the work in an hour. It's a common or an order. The third sentence is, please open the door. It's a request. And the request word please is mentioned here. And the fourth sentence is, have a cup of tea. It's an offer given to you. So, imperative sentences express an advice, common request or an offer. Now, with imperative sentences, there are sentences which express wish or prayer. Like, I wish you all the best in your examination or may God bless you. It's a prayer. The previous sentence is a wish. I wish all the best. And the second one, may God bless you, is a prayer. So, sentences which express a wish or a prayer are also called imperative sentences. I told you there is one more kind of sentences that is optative sentences. Some of the grammar books include fifth type of sentence that is optative sentence. Optative sentences express a wish or a prayer. But in most of the books we find the sentences which express a wish or a prayer are included among the imperative sentences. Therefore in most of the books we find there are four kinds of sentences assertive sentences, interrogative sentences, exclamatory sentences and imperative sentences. Next, I have given a worksheet to understand how much you have understood about the different kinds of sentences. The exercise is mention the kind of sentences. The first sentence is have you done your homework? Second is, have mercy on us, O God. The third sentence is, I have many good friends. And the fourth sentence is, how lovely the weather is. And the fifth sentence is, please help me. Try to mention the kind of sentences. The first sentence, have you done your work? It's a question. It's an interrogative sentence. Have mercy on us, O God. It's a prayer. It's an imperative sentence or an optative sentence. 
The third sentence is, I have many good friends. It's an information. It's a fact. So it is an assertive sentence. The fourth sentence, how lovely the weather is. The sentence ends with an exclamation mark and it is expressing a strong feeling. The fourth sentence is an explanatory sentence. And the fifth sentence includes request word please. So it's an imperative sentence.